Hey guys, today I'm going to do a video that's a little bit different than the normal and I'm going to share with you how I keep my house smelling fresh on a budget. This is a collaborative video along with Mommy Goodness and Haley's Wife Style, so please be sure you check out their channels for their money saving, making your home smell good tips as well. The first one I'm going to share is the car or repelling bugs. I like to use Purify for my car and I've talked about this before. If you could look at the bottle on the left, you can even see the cotton ball remnants because I use it so much, but Purify is also great for bug bites, cuts and wounds, disinfecting surfaces, it kills airborne pathogens, and it strengthens your immune system. And those last two are the reason why I use it. So I just drop a couple of drops on a cotton ball, and I place it in my car, which you'll see here in a second. If you have Terra Shield or something like that, you can also place it on a cotton ball and put it in an area of your home where you're maybe struggling with some bugs. I can help you with that if you have any questions on specific pests. But as you can see, it's in my car and my whole entire car will smell amazing. Now deodorizing with a light scent, and this one's a little bit different. You've probably heard of putting orange peels inside of some water with you know some different seasonings and then putting them on the stove and boiling them. This one's a little bit different because you're gonna cut an orange in half. And then once you have your orange cut in half, you are going to scoop out the inside of the orange as you can see here. Now if you have like a grapefruit, you know this the serrated spoon, it would work a lot better. You can also of course you know juice your orange and then scrape it out, things like that. But once you get it scraped out, I like to give it a quick rinse just because you know I want to prevent the stickiness. And then you're gonna sprinkle the inside of the orange with some just regular everyday salt. So you're gonna to want to put you know maybe a tea a teaspoon or two inside of the orange peel and then wipe it around so that it covers the entire peel. After that, you are good to go. You put it on a, in a bowl or you know, in a bag and place it in your home. It deodorizes it and also offers that nice orange scent. I have it on my, you know, kind of like entryway area. Plus the colors coordinate for me. Now, multi-purpose scents. You can diffuse them, you can humidify them, there's a few other things, but as you just saw, the Lotus diffuser, here's a different couple, a few different other, you know, types of diffusers, and what you can put in them are various oils, and not only do they make your house smell good, but they have excellent properties to them. This first batch, for example, are antibacterial essential oils. We've got cypress, eucalyptus, lavender, lemon, lime, marjoram, melaleuca, peppermint, Roman chamomile, rosemary, sage, sandalwood, wild orange, and wintergreen. I'm showing you the oils that I personally have that are on that list. And any of those can double up as an air fresher, anti, and as well as an antibacterial. Now for antifungal, there's eucalyptus, lavender, lemon, melaleuca, patchouli, sage, sandalwood, and thyme. And these are great for antifungal. Now antiviral. There is cinnamon, clove, eucalyptus, lavender, lemon, melaleuca, oregano, sandalwood, and thyme. These are excellent because like I said, they smell fantastic. Who doesn't want their house to smell like lavender? Plus, it's an antiviral all at once. Antibiotic oils include bergamot, clove, eucalyptus, lavender, lemon, lime, melaleuca, oregano, patchouli, and Roman chamomile. So these oils, like I said, can be used to not only make your house smell fantastic, but for these other properties. So, you know, why not kill some airborne pathogens before you make your house smell amazing? Now, I cannot, you know, disregard On Guard because it is one of the most amazing oils, and it's good for so many different things. It'll kill bacteria, it strengthens your immune system, kills mold, topical disinfectant, and it's great for viruses. Now, if you don't have a fancy diffuser, that's okay. You can place a few drops of your essential oil inside of a pot of water, turn it on, and let it steam throughout the house. Of course, just keep an eye on it. Your humidifier also works great for that. Breathe in the humidifier is also amazing to help just clear out your sinuses and your head in general. So if you have any other questions about this or anything else essential oil related, please check out my website. You can send me an email at jennycandidmommy at yahoo. All the links are below, including the other girls. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to check them out. Bye guys.